The network switch we'll be setting up today is a Cisco CBS220. First thing you want to do, plug in power. Grab an ethernet cable, one end of your computer, one end of the switch. Set an IP address for uh, your ethernet connection to the switch. So I'm gonna do 192.168.1.2 for fun. Subnet mask is 255, 255.255.0. Next we'll connect to 192.168.1.254. You'll get this notice, accept the risk and continue. Default username and password is Cisco for both. And next it's gonna tell you to change your username and password. Once you change that, you'll have to log back in. Dante doesn't care about DHCP, so we won't worry about creating a scheme for that. So next we'll go ahead and update our firmware on the switch. Go under file management, firmware operations, make sure we have update firmware, browse and grab that file you just downloaded. Once you have that, go ahead and hit apply and this will take a few minutes to install. Go ahead and disable energy efficient ethernet. Dante does not like energy efficient ethernet, so let's disable that. We'll go under port management, green ethernet, and then we will uncheck enable on energy efficient ethernet, apply. Now Audinate does recommend on bigger networks that you would use VLANs. These switches are not for anything else except for Dante Audio, so I'm not gonna worry about VLANs in this configuration. Next, we're gonna go ahead and configure QoS or quality of service based on Audinate's recommendations. We're gonna click advanced, hit apply. Next, we'll click on Q and make sure all of our queues are set to strict priority. Next, we'll go ahead and set our output queues in the DSCP to Q. All of them should be set to one except for number eight, which is set to six, number 46, which is set to seven, and number 56, which is set to eight. Then under trust mode, hit DSCP, and then set to trusted, apply. Then come up and click the save icon here. So now we're gonna set up IGMP snooping. Every switch is a little bit different with this. Try to find the right settings for your switch. So we have IGMP snooping is enabled. Then we drop to IGMP snooping, click on our VLAN ID of one, edit. We're gonna go ahead and enable snooping status. And then we'll also go ahead and select uh, IGMP query status V3. One thing to note, um, only one switch on each of these primary and secondary networks should have the query status on. Okay, the other thing we wanna make sure is that the M router ports auto learn is set to enable. We wanna change the query interval to 30. And then every switch's range for uh, last member query seems to be a little bit different. Some range from like 1,000 to 25,000. If I'm doing my math correctly, this needs to be set to 10. And we'll hit apply. One thing to note is if you're using Dante Virtual Sound Card, it does seem to have a problem with multicast and how it's uh, receiving the, the information. So clock might drop quite a bit. Uh, I'd recommend changing a setting under forward all for that. So identify your port, figure out what port it is. Okay, we're in port one, switch it to static, then you would hit apply and you should be good to go. That should cover just a basic configuration for your switch on a very basic Dante setup. I recommend isolating your Dante traffic and just running separate switches when possible. Next thing that you would just have to do is make a backup file so that if you've bought multiple switches, you just load it on 